Guess who's back? What up, book lovers? It is G Swizz here, and I am here to tell you that I'm back. A lot of you guys didn't end up knowing why I was absent these past couple of weeks and not uploading my consistent weekly videos. Around a month ago, I was diagnosed with Bell's palsy. I woke up in the morning with half my face not working. I had reached 300 subscribers that morning, and so I went to film a video to say thank you and then that didn't work out because I realized that my face was lopsided and I couldn't speak. I am currently on my last week of medication. I was told that it would take around a couple of months to possibly a year to recover by 90%. I cannot say that it is fully recovered. It still feels a bit tense. This was the side that wasn't working around a month ago and and it's taken a long time to try to rehabilitate it, for me to speak properly, for me to do anything. And so I've had to take some time off of booktube. It was really heartbreaking because I love this community and I love being active within it. I loved making videos so much. I had become a workaholic. The last three videos that I uploaded were pre-filmed. I only shared that within the description of my videos or I shared it on Twitter and the people that follow me on Twitter, I thank you guys so much for your support and your generosity. You guys are honestly so amazing. I'm just so blessed to have such a great community of friends here. I don't know if I'd be motivated to make this video without you guys because you guys are so amazing and so thoughtful. Sorry, I'm getting a bit sappy right now, but honestly, this month has just been so difficult, so emotionally taxing. Even if you guys didn't know, you guys still subscribe to my channel. I was absent for a month and I have around 67 more subscribers than I did the day I got Bell's palsy. It blows my mind that people are still like subscribing to my channel even though I was absent. I thank you guys so much for just supporting me and watching my content, commenting on my videos, anything that you guys do I am so thankful. So I thought in order to celebrate I was going to do a booktuber recommendations video. I decided to recommend some awesome channels that I have encountered within the past couple of months. As well as me recommending them, I'm going to mention a couple of series, maybe even authors that I associate with these channels so that if you guys also love these series, maybe you're going to love their other bookish tastes as well. The problem is, is that I had so many channels that I really wanted to recommend and I could only fit 10 in this video for the sake of time. I was thinking every single time maybe that I hit a milestone that I could do another booktuber recommendations video. So if your booktube channel is not mentioned in this video, I'm so sorry, I still love your channel. I will try to fit you into a never booktuber recommendations video. It was really hard to pick my 10, but I got there. The first booktuber that I have to recommend is Kathleen at For the Love of books. I love Kathleen. She is so adorable. I just love watching her videos. She recently came back from Brazil and just did an awesome Brazilian book haul. And I love having like a little banter with her in the comments about specific book series as well. Like she's amazing and she keeps on watching my videos. She's just an amazing person. I would recommend her channel if you love the dystopian genre. She has a range of different dystopians that she has read and that she loves. If you also love The Book Thief, it is one of her favorite books. And if you love Sarah Dessen books because she loves and admires Sarah Dessen books. She talks with them with such high regard. I would recommend her channel if you have similar bookish taste. The second channel that I recommend to you today is Nina at Demigods Are Dauntless. It is obvious what her bookish tastes are based on her name. She loves demigods from the Percy Jackson series and Dauntless because Dauntless is the most awesome faction in the Divergent series. Oh my gosh guys, I freaking love both those series. Nina is just awesome. She is so cute. No, this might be weird, but I really love your smile, Nina. You're awesome. I'm gonna say it again. I would recommend if you love the Percy Jackson series, the Divergent series, even the Friend of Glass series, and anything to do with Shadowhunters, whether she's talking about the TV shows or the books, I would just recommend her channel full stop. Go check out Nina. The next booktuber that I have to recommend to you today is Jules at Page by Page. She is 
so amazing. Not only her channel is great, she is just a great person in general. She has been keeping in contact with me about my Bell's palsy and everything like that and I thank her so much for it. She just private messages me and she checks to see if I'm okay. She genuinely wanted me back onto my channel and I'm so happy I'm back on my channel and I'm so happy I got to talk to her about that. She's just an awesome person but her booktube channel is just as awesome. If you don't know, she is the co-host of Render Reads. I will see if I can find the link to the Goodreads page and put it in the description so you can check it out and join Render Reads. We are currently reading Six of Crows. Next month they are going to be reading The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. If you want to join in with us, go check that out. She is also the co-host of the Harry Potter Rereadathon, which is currently happening right now. I can see if I can find a video to describe that. I think the Twitter handle for the official Rereadathon is at AJ Readathon. Go check that out if you haven't. Now to her book is Taste. You'd love her channel if you'd love anything to do with Harry Potter, House Moving Castle, and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which I just read and oh my goodness, it was amazing. Next channel I have to recommend to you today is Ashley at A Dash of Ash. If you don't know, she is the other co-host for the Harry Potter Rereadathon. For future readathons as well, Rose and Jewels Twitter handle is also AJ Readathon. She is honestly so great. She only recently joined booktube and I think she has like around 400 subscribers already. Her channel is growing so quickly and honestly I think that out of all people like she really does deserve it. Like her hard work pays off. She's just a genuinely awesome person. I just love it when I see genuinely awesome people on my feed and I'm just like oh my goodness yes another video from them. That's the feels that I get when I see Ash on my subscription feed like it's just ugh, she's just awesome. Go subscribe to her. If you like books such as the Raven Cycle Quartet which she has been reading and she's been raving about anything to do with Shadowhunters is pretty much like the next Emma books when it comes to like her Shadowhunter collection. It is amazing and also if you love Percy Jackson. Anything to do with Percy Jackson, the Heroes of Olympus, even if you don't like those books, go check her out because she's an amazing person. The next channel that I have to recommend to you, we share a name. She is amazing. Her name is Grace and her channel is Graceful Books. She was probably one of the first core friends that I made on booktube. I came across her channel. I'm like, oh my goodness, we share a name. Like, this is awesome. We haven't stopped watching each other's videos since and it has been a great experience. I love how peculiar her reading tastes are. She tends to read a lot of great books with dark topics, but she's such a light and bright person. Like, I just, I love her personality. I've just seen her grow and develop as a booktuber and I'm so excited to keep seeing her grow and develop. To see more of her bookish videos in the future, I'm so happy we're back on this community now. Like, I can finally do that. You would definitely like her channel if you like books that are written by Ellen Hopkins, also the Mara Dyer trilogy, and Red Queen. She definitely loves talking about Red Queen, and she also loves talking about Maven. Go check her out if you haven't yet. The next booktuber that I have to recommend to you is so awesome. His name is Rob and his channel name is Books and Bobs and honestly, I love Rob. He's got such a broad taste in books that every single time like I watch his videos, it inspires me to read outside of my comfort zone. Although you can see there's a lot of YA on my shelves and then there are some classics, but it really inspires me to look at reading out of my comfort zone. He just has like such a broad reading range like it is so insane. Like, he could be talking about like the Lord of the Rings one second and then he could go on to talk about the Lunar Chronicles the other second. If you like genres like high fantasy, maybe series that include Aragon, the Demon Cycle, anything to do with Brandon Sanderson, or maybe you like other sci-fi books like the Lunar Chronicles or Red Rising, or maybe you just love freaking X-Men. Yes, he talks about the X-Men comics a lot on his channel. If you love anything to do with that, I would highly 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 recommend Rob's channel it is freaking amazing and you will not regret it the next booktuber that I have to recommend to you is Binta at Positive Writer yes I love Binta she is so funny and so amazing she doesn't only just talk about books on her channel she also talks about writing she has a lot of variety on her channel she doesn't ju just talk about books but when she does talk about books it is so awesome it's also really funny like she's just a hilarious person if you just want a booktuber that is hilarious like full stop like you don't care about the reading taste you just want somebody with personality like 
Binta, she's the person for you. Go subscribe to her. If you love series like Divergent, like she's literally my Divergent homie. Also, the Shadow Me trilogy and the Selection series, you would definitely love Binta. Go check out her channel if you haven't already because she is just freaking awesome. Just just go do it. Please, just go do it right now. Like, um, well, maybe just wait till my video is done. But like, as soon as this video is done, just go check out her channel. The next booktuber I have to recommend to you would be Lindsay at Infinite Discourse. Now, Lindsay is like just so chill. I love her. She's just completely chill. She has been studying abroad. Like, I watched, I think, her recent book haul and she was talking about books that she got abroad. I'm just like, yes, this is so fun. Also, I just love our Divergent banter. Like, it is crazy. If you're like one of those rare kinds like me that loves the Divergent series the complete way through, you have no hate towards the Divergent series, which a lot of people do, but you're kind of obsessed. And Lindsay is another person that you should definitely subscribe to because she knows your pain as well as me. Also, if you like books like Me Before You, or maybe even The Lunar Chronicles, I would definitely recommend her channel. If you like those, you will definitely like Lindsay. Go subscribe to Infinite Discourse. The next booktuber I have to recommend to you is Saleya at Saleya Reads. I hope I got your name right this time. I said it once in one of my videos, and I totally butchered it. Saleya is just an amazing person. Oh my goodness, like, I keep on saying about all these people that they're just amazing people, because they are. Booktube would not be the same if it didn't have its amazing people. Anyway, she's very fun and her reading tastes are awesome. You would love her channel if you liked any Shadowhunter book, probably every Sarah J Mass book, particularly A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I think you would definitely love her channel if you love that series. And of course, the Penryn and the End of Days trilogy. She really loves those series. So if you really love those series, I would definitely recommend you check out her channel. And the last booktuber I have to recommend to you today is a booktuber that I know in real life. I need to include at least one Aussie in this video anyway, so like, let's do this. I'm going to recommend Anna at Hufflepuffism. If you don't know already, Anna and I are co-workers. We've known each other for a couple of years. Once she decided to start a booktube channel, like, my whole world flipped upside down. Like, it's just so freaking awesome that she decided to do that. Like, I just, I'm, I'm still so happy you joined this community, Anna. Like, oh my gosh, like, thank you. I love having to talk to somebody in real life about booktube. I know that she is an awesome person in real life because I've known her for a couple of years, guys. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, yes, she is one of the few people that got me into the series. So anything to do with Harry Potter, as her name is also Hufflepuffism, so I think any Hufflepuffs especially would love her channel, but any house would do. Like, just, just go check out her channel either way. Also, if you love the Eon duology that is written by Alison Goodman, that is one of her favorite duologies as well. If you love the Graceling Realm by Kristen Kishore, and then anything that is written by Gail Foreman, you would love Anna's channel. Just go check her out. That is going to be it for this video today. Follow me on my social medias. I'm at GSwizzlebooks on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm also at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash GSwizzle. I will do everything in my power to try to upload every Wednesday and every weekend like I did before. I'm going to get back into the habit, hopefully soon. I love you, book lovers, and I will see you later. Peace.